Hey, it's your girl, pull up on the scene with Rosie Rose. I'm out here in Orlando, Florida, West Orlando, Swiss. I just pulled up, it's a vibe. Set it out, interview coming soon. I ain't even saying where who, just tap in. Look at this lovely setup. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. You already know, city to city, state to state, we global. <laughs> Hey, it's your girl, pull up on the scene with Rosie Rose. I'm out here, West Orlando, sweets. We outside with it, city to city, state to state. We global, you know me, stop in. I just take a little pass break, but I am back. I have the amazing, beautiful Shea Star with me, media, radio personality, do it all. Talk to me, how are Ooh, you? Oh, girl, we outside, you know what I'm saying? We are all the way outside and then pulled up on the scene. Skr, skr, you know what I'm skr. saying? Thank you for having me, first of Thank all. Thank you for being here. You know, here. all of this last minute stuff but i appreciate y'all just accommodating me so i'm like I'm very very okay, excited to be you. on your show today so we're females you, you yes. gotta support each other Man. in this industry so that's how you want to start this off yes, that's we, that's the interview we're going there we're going there, there. Okay. Okay. there. because you know there is a lack of that that does not come in abundance well we're jumping in into field. it you we're know what i'm saying it. so we can lead by example okay. how about that yes we gotta support that. each other you know and especially being women in media yeah it's so much competition and it's like we don't have to compete with each other like this is your platform this is my platform we've now cross-branded and promoted each other yeah. so now my people know who yeah. you are yeah. your people know who exactly. i am that's exactly. how you grow build and expand but you know why do saying? you feel like that's such a thing that's lacking in the industry now you want to know something it's like that old school crab in the bottom of the barrel of the bucket mentality okay. you know uh that jim crow thing yeah, you know yeah, that yeah. that stuff is all very real and whether we really want to like believe it or not those generational curses and those generational mindsets have been passed down for generations so we're only going off of or doing what we think we have to yeah. do because it's like oh no i want you to win sis but i don't want you to win better than yeah, me yeah you know exactly. what i'm saying so it's exactly. like i see you but i don't want to see you see, see you. you but that's a sickness that's a mindset yeah. that most yeah. definitely the most definitely needs to be changed but i think what it is is that the the world has been so desensitized yeah. now with all of the crap that's going on and people are really just out for themselves they don't know yeah. what else to do yeah you know so yeah. it's kind of like i get it but then it's like i don't have any sympathy for it either exactly you know? so we need to just stand together because these folks are out here trying to get us have you heard of covid yes <laughs> Have you heard of COVID? Yeah, that's and many things else before that. Oh uh, yeah. But it's been things. there. That's right. So I, I love the energy. I like that that's coming with it because I feel like once females get together, yes. the things you can do together Girl. versus trying to, this is what's going on. Like you could take over. Mm -mm. You, like you said, you are in a whole different field. So what city yes. you promoting? Okay. So I am out of Atlanta right now. Okay. I'm based out of Atlanta right now. That is my home base. Um, but I grew up in Dover, Delaware. So that's where that, you know, up north aggression kind of comes from. Okay. You know, I'm yeah. a, I'm a northern girl. <laughs> um, but I was born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So I still have that Midwest, you know, down, yeah. down home, you know, feel because all my family, you know, was from there. And of course, the influence from my mother and my grandmother and all the very beautiful women that, you know, made, raised me. I still have, you know, those down south you know traditions about me as well so you kind of get the best of both worlds you know fooling with that, me for real that's that's right yeah. that's and right it's all too. good because you know one day i'll you know cut you out next day i'll love you forever so, so what made you move to atlanta how did you get into um, this whole industry well uh the industry that's like two different questions okay yeah so we're gonna kind of backtrack a little okay. bit for the people who don't really know um but i got into the industry overall um years ago as an r&b singer that's how okay. i came into the game i was an artist um and i did that like wholeheartedly for like nine years and um around 2011 when the industry started to shift when websites and blogging yeah. and all that Internet stuff kind of became right a thing, yeah. you know. Um, I was kind of at my wits end, you know. I got tired of hitting my head up against the wall as a singer and nobody wanting to help me. I didn't got scammed out of thou thousands of dollars. Yeah. I'm like, something has to give, you know. Um, and my mentor at the time, he had said to me, he said, you know, Shay, your personality is everything. And he said, not saying that I don't think you would make it as a singer because you definitely have the talent. He said, but what sets you apart from every other pretty light-skinned girl that could sing. He said, your personality. He said, I just feel like you got more to offer this industry than just trying to be a singer. So it was his suggestion that I started to do interviews and, you know, really hone in and let people see me on that side, you know, cause I have a couple of degrees and 
a couple other passions and things okay, yeah, that, you okay. know, have kind of cultivated, you know, the yes, whole personality that I have. And um, it actually was probably one of the best things that I ever could have done because it actually opened up the floodgates for me to do so much more. Um, so I started a website, Shaystar.com, back in 2011. Okay. And I got into media and blogging when it was really kind of no other entity. Like we had like the Nicole Bitchies yeah. and uh, TMZ, Media Takeout, This Is 50.com. Yeah, like yeah, those were like the yeah, main ones, yeah. you know, World Star. Um, so I got in at a really, really, really good time. And being that I'm from up north, I was able to build my brand in New York City. I was able to build my brand in Philadelphia. I was able to build my brand in Jersey. I was able to build my brand um, DC, uh, Baltimore. So you got to figure living in Delaware, all of that is like literally right there yeah. around that very small state. Every neighborhood. Absolutely. So I was literally like an hour away from everything. So it was easy for me to kind of take over in that yeah, regard. Yeah. But once I did that, I needed to move south with okay. it. So that's why I'm now in Atlanta and I'm ready to take over everything on that side. Okay, <laughs> cause she's coming. Okay, sis says she's coming for Period. everything. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You said you right have a couple of degrees. I do. Okay, oh, let's you talk listen. about those. I listen, baby. That's, you listen. That's, that's what we do, that's what Period. we do. So um, I have, an associate's degree in human services. Okay. I have a bachelor's degree in behavioral science and I have a master's degree in public administration and I'm finishing my second master's in sports management. Okay, is that something that you wanna get into? Um, So, sports has always been like a really big thing for me. Okay. Um, and as I've been immersed in entertainment, um, when I got my degree in public administration, which is basically just business without all of the marketing and numbers yeah. bullshit, um, it really kind of gave me a scope on like how money and business are translated through entertainment. So if you take the same principles that's applied with hip hop yeah. and put it into the sports world, that's a crazy turnaround. And the, the blueprint for it is very, very similar. So the same way that you would market and promote an artist is the same way agents market and promote athletes yeah, yeah. to get them the biggest sign and deal, to get them the biggest um, endorsement, sponsorship and stuff like that. So once I understood how that translated, I'm like, shoot, hip hop is like one thing, yeah. but sports is international that's worldwide every race every genre every gender likes sports in some capacity so i'm just trying to like up the scope when okay. it comes to my bag yes. you know what i'm saying so i, I want to get into that i feel you look yeah. it up that's really what it what that's what it's about i feel like once you start at level one mm -hmm. and you master level one you're like okay i could go to level two yes. and i like how you talking because yes baby you're taking i'm over. trying to elevate you feel what i'm saying <laughs> and then two you know what um i do broadcasting as well so um being that you know i cover a lot of the red carpet yeah. events and you know i've done the news for like abc and nbc okay. i like that part of it for in sports as well so i want to be the girl interviewing them folks when they come off the court and have yeah time. i want to yeah. be you know on the field you know giving the recap of you know what happened in in the first quarter i love that what period we're pulling up on the scene up okay the scene. red carpet and everything all right <laughs> So let's talk about Kudos with Shea Star. Yes. How did Kudos with Shea Star come about? So Kudos with Shea Star is like my baby. You know, I've had, you know, other shows and okay. segments that I've done, you know, in the past. But Kudos with Shea Star was like literally like full blown, produced by me. Um, all the creative direction, everything was really like my thing. Like I sat down and wrote the show out how I wanted it to be, you know, bullet point by bullet point. So how Kudos came about, um, I was doing the morning show on the station uh, down in South in Southern Georgia, well, Middle Georgia. Okay. And just like everybody else in the world, COVID hit. Yeah. And unfortunately, I was one of the first people to go. I guess they had to get rid of the people who get paid the most. And it's fine, I get it, whatever. <laughs> you know, it is what it is, cool. So, you know, I was like really, really down about it. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe these folks and you know, fired yeah. me or let me yeah. go, whatever, after everything I've done for the station. And I was really, really sad. And it was crazy, right? Two hours later, my friend called and was like, hey, my girlfriend just moved to Atlanta. She has opened up a, um, a studio and she has a network and she's looking for content. Um, and she would like to know if you would, you know, be able yeah. to come up with something for the network. I'm like, you got to be kidding me, right? So like I can design a TV yeah. show if I want to. So immediately I took that negative energy that I had about losing my job and turned it into positive energy and started to write out the show. And I came up with, you know, again, I've always had different platforms and different shows okay. and it's always artist driven yeah. because again, 
former independent artist. My, my heart and my passion is to help independent artists. So I said, you know what, but this time I want to do something different. So we do a top 10 countdown, okay. very similar to like how 106 and yeah. Park used to be back in the day. But instead of me interviewing independent artists, I interview the managers, the executives, okay. um, the videographers, okay. the, the the host, you know, the yeah. people that never get the, the behind kudos. the scenes. Exactly. So the whole purpose of Kudos with Shea Star is giving kudos to the people who you never actually see or the people who never get their kudos. Okay. So instead of, you know, interviewing a little baby, I'd rather interview Coach K or P exactly. to tell us how he made a little baby or what the process was to, you know, create an Amigos or what it meant to them to bring on a Cardi B. Of like, course. and why those things are important from a label head standpoint and not just from the artist standpoint. So we still give the independent artists the time to shine with the okay. top 10 countdown, but it's really about using entertainment as a way to educate everybody who's That's watching. Cool. And you know, we have fun with the Never I Have I Ever yep. game. I, 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 I was like, okay. <laughs> we just, I like you know. that. I, I was like, she was like, wait, did she break a bone? Sis was like, mm. You're like, oh, just drink. Go on, you don't talk too long. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like the thing with Never Have I Ever is, um, it's me and whoever one of my guests are. Okay. So I ask them five questions and if they answer no, they have to take a shot. If they answer yes, then I have to take a shot. Okay. So at the end of, you know, five questions, one of us is either going to be <laughs> fucked up or we're going to be equally late, right. you know? <laughs> so that's why when the, the questions may seem so easy, yeah. but again, they, they were stressed because it's like, what is she getting ready to ask me? Because it could be something extreme to have you ever had a threesome, to yeah. have you ever, you know, failed a grade. And either or, yes or no, one of us has to take a shot. Take a so shot. that's what makes it so interesting and so fun. Because it's like they they hoping that I'm asking them something that they've <laughs> never <laughs> done before or that they have done before. So they can just say yes. <laughs> right. I love it. I love it. So now you say that you want to help independent artists and yes. you got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So about the last growl. Yes. I want to talk about that because yes. I know that's for artists. Mm -hmm. You're on tour with it. You're going to different cities. So the thing with The Last Growl is um, la The Last Growl is actually the soundtrack to the movie Dogman. Okay. And Dogman is actually the last movie that DMX would be featured in before his untimely death. I also have a role in the movie as well. Oh, wow. um, so thank you very much. So you guys be looking out for that. It's coming very, very soon. Um, but the soundtrack, um, is also important because all of the producers who are producing this soundtrack were all the producers that produced all of DMX's major hits and okay. all of the Locks's biggest hits. Because okay. everybody knows that DMX and Jada Kiss were very, very yeah. close. Yeah. So the last growl, what we're doing is, is we're going on a tour internationally to find artists to be all a part of the soundtrack. So we're literally going to be like taking artists and a and r them with the producers to see okay. who could, you know, create the best sounds for this for this movie. Um, and one lucky artist will get an opportunity to feature on the song with Jada Kiss as well. And I believe that's gonna be the lead single off okay. of the soundtrack. So this is like a really, really major yeah. opportunity for a lot of artists because again, it's not just about the soundtrack, but this is about the movie and, you know, really continuing DMX's legacy yeah. on who he was as you know, um, a rough rider, uh -huh. you know, as a man who had a, a big passion for dogs, um, just the high energy and just him being a really, really amazing actor yeah. as well yeah. as a very yeah. good, you know, artist. So the movie is really just gonna sum up his, it's not about him, yeah. so it's like a documentary, but things if you knew him. about, if you knew DMX and his lifestyle, these are all the things that made him who he was. And that's like so dope. And okay. to actually even have a role in the yeah. movie is like, that's Come on, I know. Really? Okay, I, I'm excited to see. I'm very excited. So, how can artists um, tap in with you to register, be a part of the show? Definitely. So, um, all artists, you guys can submit your music and producers. And we're also, um, okay. I, cause I asked them this other day. I said, well, can we give you know producers yeah, the opportunity yeah. to submit their stuff too? So we have um, opportunity for artists and producers to submit their music to the last growl at yahoo.com. That's okay. the last growl at yahoo.com. So that's the only way you can submit. Um, I mean, you can slide in my DM, but I'm just going to tell you to submit to the, to the right, email. So. Right, right. <laughs> and, you know, let me just put this out there because a lot of people are like, oh, well, I know Self, I know Born Genius, mm -hmm. I know Jada Kiss, I know Big Tone. That's cool. We don't care about that. Yeah. You have to submit it's just like everybody it. else. It's not the homie hookup. This is okay. a professional 
big budget movie soundtrack yeah. and we need the best and the best of course, only. Of so course. you being my friend ain't gonna get you in the door with this one, baby. No, <laughs> sorry. Nope. You gotta put in that word. Yeah, you gotta put that word into this, boo. You gotta, I, can't, I can't put the word in for you this time. So we can follow you all on Instagram? Yes, you can follow me everywhere because all of my stuff is the same. You can follow me at I am Shay Star. That's I am S-H-A-Y-S-T-A-R. We'll have you on the star. And you know, it's all the way across the board. You can just Google me, Shay Star. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Don't be yeah, nervous about what you want to find, though. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's be different in my past life, but it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just, I warned you. I Don't worry about it. Follow, tap it. It's your girl. Pull up on a scene with Rosie Rose. City to the city, state to state. We with it. West Orlando Suites. Thank you so much Period. for coming on. No, thank you. Tap in, tune in, follow her. I'm Cannot wait to see these movies. I'm gonna go to the movies and see them. So no, I'm pay my come money. with me to the premiere. Oh, I'm, and I'm cover coming. It. Okay, How about that? I'm getting my red How about carpet dress Rose on. To be at the movie premiere yes, okay. on the red carpet. We're gonna make it happen. Movies, like Manager, we got to you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, we, we need to make sure she, she's at all the movie premieres. We'll be there. So we'll way, be you there. Can interview all the actors okay. and actresses for Thank some, you. So, yeah. Shout out, you already know Caribbean Streaming Networks. We're on all Ruku TVs, man. Tap in 2020. We are coming home. Big shout out. So thank you. City to city, we out.